Hello, my name is Dilwar Hussain. I teach uh, psychology in the Department of Humanities and Social Science at IIT Guwahati. So, I welcome you all to this course titled Psychology of Emotion Theory and Applications. Now, as the title suggests, this course is about psycho understanding of psychological aspects of emotions. At the outset, let me clarify that uh, although the major content of this course has been taken from the discipline of psychology, student from any background can take this course and uh, un understand and apply the concepts in their life. Because the content of the course is designed in such a way that you know, uh, people from uh, uh, students from other background can also understand and apply these concepts. Now, as the title suggests, this course is primarily about understanding human emotions. Now, emotion is the central aspects of human life. We all understand. It is the emotion that differentiate human beings from machines. It is the emotions that you know, gives us all the varied rich experiences of human life. It gives us meaning in life. And at the same time, it is the emotion that also causes all kinds of sufferings in our life. It causes a lot of psychological disorders and so on. So, the importance of the concept of emotion can never be overstated. It is such a significant topic that as a human being, all we should all explore the diverse aspects of the emotion uh, to increase or gain insights about our own selves and the diverse aspects of experiences of our life. So, with this little background, let me give you a brief break up of this course, how it will, how we will kind of go about this course. So, this course will provide a comprehensive understanding and applications of psychology of emotions and emotional intelligence. So, majorly this course will have two major, as, uh, two major aspects in this course. One is uh, the first few modules will be talking about theoretical understanding of diverse aspects of concepts of emotion. So, first few modules will be mostly talking about theoretical understanding of diverse aspects of emotion through the uh, empirical and theoretical literature of psychology and associated disciplines. Last few modules will be mostly talking about the applications of the concepts that we have understood uh, primarily through the concept of emotional intelligence. So, emotional intelligence is a very popular concept nowadays and it has been found to be very important and significant uh, concept that can have lot of application in personal as well as professional life. More specifically, this course will address uh, major questions associated with the scientific study of emotions. Uh, some of the questions that we will address in this course are, what are emotions? We will talk about uh, start with the concept or definition of emotions. How can we best define emotions? What are the aspects associated with the emotions? We will also address uh, the question that whether there are universal emotions or there are culture specific emotions. Uh, primarily we will address here uh, whether people from different culture experience emotion in similar way, interpret emotion in similar way, express emotion in similar way or there are culture specific uh, diversities in the cons in the context of experience as well as expression of emotions. Next, we will also talk about how emotion influence our brain and body that is the physiological part of emotions we will talk about that every emotion is associated with certain physiological changes in the body. So, in that context, we will talk about when we experience emotion, how it influences your brain, how it influences your body uh, in terms of chemical changes and so on. Uh, we will also talk about what happens when we are not able to manage emotions. So, dysregulation or not able to manage emotion, what are the consequences of it and uh, how it can lead to different outcomes. Then we will talk about are there emotion based psychological disorders. So, there are many psychological disorders where the central aspect is uh, the problems in the emotions or lack of regulation of emotions. So, we will talk about such psychological disorders and uh, what are the emotional aspects associated with those uh, psychological disorders. Uh, we will also address can we learn to regulate destructive emotions. So, it is very uh, significant particularly in the in the context of application of emotions that uh, uh, the quality of our life largely depends on how you manage your emotions, how you kind of you know particularly the destructive emotions like anger and so on. So, we will see is it possible to con uh, kind of manage them properly and uh, if so, how can we do that? Uh, we will also address what are positive emotions and happiness, uh, can we enhance them to experience more satisfaction in our life. So, this aspect also will address where we will not just talk about negative emotions, we will also talk about 
what are positive emotions and the concept of happiness associated with it and uh, most importantly we will also look at how can we enhance those positive emotions in our life to kind of you know uh, experience more satisfaction in our life. Uh, then we will talk about the concept of emotional intelligence which is very significant that lot of problems in our life happens because of lack of emotional intelligence that we are not able to address emotions properly in our life. So, emotional intelligence will deal, uh, deal with understanding of emotions within, within ourselves as well as others, how to regulate emotions and so on. All these concepts we will talk about it and we will also address why it is so important for success and satisfaction in personal as well as professional life. Both personal and professional life, emotional intelligence plays very vital role. So, we will try to address that why it is so important and uh, the most important the applied aspect of it can we learn the skills of emotional intelligence uh, it, can we learn and if so how can we learn what are the important skills that are necessary so overall uh, this course will provide a comprehensive and insightful understanding of emotions through an examination of both theoretical and empirical literature of the subject uh, overall this course will have 12 modules one module each week and um, approximately 2-3 lectures will be covered under each module. So, in total about 31 lectures will be covered in this course. So, I welcome you all to join this course and uh, benefit from the concepts and application of these courses in your personal as well as professional life. So, this course will be beneficial for all people from people from all students from or uh, any, 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 any general uh, you know uh, population from any background and uh, they can kind of benefit from this course because the concept of emotion is central to everyone's life. It will be more specifically uh, important or may contribute to the understanding of students who, who are uh, associated with certain disciplines or uh, subjects such as counseling psychology, clinical psychology, you know coaching, coaching uh, pe people who are into personal coaching and so on, organizational behavior, leadership and so on. So, with this uh, I, I welcome you all to uh, join this course and benefit from it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.